Hello, Olu community. Uh, this is Dr. Nal from the School of Business and Leadership. I'm teaching this Financial Institutions and Markets course in the spring semester. And uh, because of the coronavirus situation, uh, we will be meeting at least for the next month or so online uh, all of our uh, lectures. So what I will do is I'm right now on my Blackboard page. Uh, I will go ahead and create uh, those sessions. So the way I will do it is uh, let's go to the front page of the course actually. Uh, maybe uh, announcements page or let me see. Okay, so you have your announcements. I already sent an announcement saying that we will be meeting again on March 23, uh, but online mode. So I want to put an icon here uh, featuring that, uh, our meetings. Uh, so what the way to do it is to have that plus sign here. Uh, I go to tool link, click on it. First, you need to find the type. And the type is Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. That should be available there. You want to make sure to make it available to users. And now, uh, make a name. Uh, so, for instance, uh, you can call it uh, Collaborate Meetings or Online Meetings. Uh, it's up to you what you want to call it. Or you can call it Weekly Meetings if your meetings will be once a week. In my case, it's twice a week. My classes meet on Mondays and Wednesdays. So I'll just call it, uh, um, I'm not sure what I should call it. Okay, I'll let, let me leave it like this. So as soon as I say click submit, it shows up here. Uh, I, I, I like being organized. So I will push that weekly meetings up, maybe just above uh, this handout. Uh, if, you, if I want, I can put another divider here. Uh, divider, it will show up at the bottom as usual. So you can drag that divider up over here so that's pretty cool so these are my weekly meetings now i need to go inside it because remember for the type i chose blackboard collaborate ultra so that's the type now i want to create those lectures it's very easy as well either click here or here doesn't matter so let's create sessions there you go so my sessions will start on monday so let me just go ahead and uh, monday and wednesdays i have my classes and my sessions will end um, uh, okay, oh, the, the starting time first. Uh, my class starts at 3.15. 3, uh, 15. Uh, there you go. And it ends at 4.30 p.m. There we go. We have it. Uh, and it's on the same day. Okay, this is a repeat session, right? So I'll just click repeat. Repeat weekly. Every week, yes. But every week, Mondays and Wednesdays. So click both of them. Perfect. And and after occurrences, so um, or we can end on date. Right now, the I think the date published by our school is we are supposed to uh, get back in the classroom on April 13. So for the time being, I'm putting April 13. But if there's an update on that, suppose we, we decided to close the semester with online courses. So I'll, I'll change that easily. Um, and then there are some session settings down below. Uh, I can record the session and things like that. Allow attendees to join the session using a telephone. All this is pretty good stuff. Um, event details. Let me make sure my event. Oh, my event is missing a title. Okay. Uh, I can call it um, Monday, Wednesday classes. Monday slash Wednesday classes. So lectures, whatever you call it. What did I call it here? Uh, online meetings maybe i should have called it lectures over there uh, but okay so monday wednesday classes the link is available already i think i'm in pretty good shape uh, i'll just go ahead and uh scroll down yes at the bottom you will see that save button so just save that's it so the lectures are available here that drop down menu We'll have the whole list of lectures. Pretty good. The first one we will enter will be this one. You don't have to actually. I mean, the moment you click on the le lesson here or here, it, it will give you a joint session. So it's very straightforward. So my session will be tomorrow. Um, yeah, so. And one last thing about this page is a really great feature. If you click over here, the menu, 
uh, you will see that all of the sessions uh, you can record it once you start the session uh, it gives you the option on the top left corner to record that session this is an amazing feature so all of your recordings after the class is over will show up here it's a pretty good deal okay so back to there all right um, let me go back here what did i say i want to do it here so you can click on that icon here and you can hide the link from students rename the link rename it uh, I, I think I should call it meetings, lectures, lectures, how about that? And then press enter. That's it. So now students will be able to see it here. Now I'll go back to announcement and I'll tell my students that I have um, online lectures available here. It's very easy. You go to announcements, you create a new announcement and start typing your announcement title. Usually I, I, I like uh, color coding it. So uh, I don't know, so you can make it blue color maybe, or if you have a, sometimes I like this dark faded green as well. Uh, just apply and then, yeah. So just type your announcement and then say submit. Hope this is useful for everybody.